The bull market is here. These three growth stocks could be big winners. The S&P 500 is up 15% over the past three months, and the market seem to be in good shape. But that's a bit misleading, as many individual stocks are still struggling, while many stocks related to artificial intelligence and technology are doing well. This market rally has not been large and widespread. However, when the index reached its all-time high on January 19th, it indicated that we are in a bull market since the old bear market bottomed in October 2022. The fear of recession does not put pressure on the economy. In a strong bull market, three stocks that could be among the biggest winners are PayPal NASDAQ, PYPL, Property Income and YSE, O and Green Thumb Industries OTC, GTBIF. Here is why. 1. PayPal. PayPal fintech stocks have not performed well in recent years. As more companies enter the market with different payment options, including by now, pay later services. There are growing concerns that PayPal simply faces too much competition to be a big growth stock anymore. In the past year, PayPal's stock has fallen 17%, but by 2021, nearly 77% of the top 1,000 retail chains, as determined by Digital Commerce 360, will offer PayPal as a payment option. And usage among those retail chains increased that year compared to 2019. Even if PayPal's market share declines, the company will still be a top online payment company for years to come. Investors may also be surprised by PayPal's recent results in the first nine months of 2023. Its revenue reached $21.7 billion, an increase of only 8%. But with the global economy worried about a possible recession, there is some hesitation among consumers. In a bull market, optimism and consumer spending are much higher, leading to better results for PayPal. The company's growth days are by no means over, and with the stock trading at roughly 12 times its estimated future earnings, there's plenty of room for PayPal stock to rise. 2. Property Income Real estate income is another stock that hasn't benefited from the S&P's rise. The shares of this company have decreased by 15% in the last 12 months. However, the Real Estate Investment Trust Wright has performed relatively well recently, and there are no serious concerns about the performance or safety of its dividend, which yields around 5.5% through the first nine months of 2023. The Wright reported funds from operations FFO per share of $3.09, better than the $2.99 it posted a year ago. The Wright has a diversified portfolio anchored by some of the biggest names in retail and is one of the safest rights you can invest in today with a strong FFO, a key number right investors focus on when evaluating dividend safety. There are no obvious concerns for investors about the business itself. The right pays a monthly dividend of $0.565, which would total about $2.31 over a nine-month period, well below the $3.09 FFO per share it posted over the same period. Its payout ratio based on that benchmark is 75%. Concerns about high interest rates are likely a key reason why investors are hesitant to invest in property income and other rights, but with rates expected to start falling this year, businesses like this could see more of a boom. Property income is another stock that could grow in more encouraging economic conditions. 3. Green Thumb Industries Green Thumb Industries is one of the top cannabis producers. But it's the riskiest stock on this list because of the federal ban on marijuana. Green Thumb and other multi-state operators have often been stymied by the lack of progress on major reforms due to excitement over the possibility of legalizing marijuana. Although the stock is up 60% over the past 12 months, looking at Green Thumb's three-year performance, it's actually down 58%. The cannabis company has made more than $1 billion in revenue in the last 12 months and is close to breaking even, losing $18.2 million in that time frame. This is one of the safer cannabis companies to invest in, given its relatively strong financials. But there will be inherent volatility with this investment due to the uncertainty surrounding marijuana reform. There is excitement about the possible rescheduling of cannabis from a Schedule 1 to a Schedule Three substance, however. This in no way guarantees or implies that legalization is around the corner. But in a broad bull market, there should generally be more excitement about rising stocks. And Green Thumb, with its poor performance over the past few years, 
may see a big boost in its stock price because it's an industry leader. With a presence in 15 states and 90 retail locations, should you invest $1,000 in PayPal right now before buying shares? Oh man, I still go, go, go.